Jonathan, as an American, I am consistently surprised by the primitiveness of your country. But even I was shocked to find out that your country still burns wood to generate power. I assume this is done with men in stovepipe hats and tweed coats throwing logs into a big boiler someplace. Well, uh, it is indeed the way we do it in, uh, in some parts of the country. <laughs> Up in Yorkshire, we've got the Drax Power Station, which mm. burns pelleted wood, which actually comes from America, I should point out, so mm. an important export for you. They are in a little bit of trouble and uh, in a few, have a few headlines this morning because they have pulled out of the White Rose experiment, which was a project to try and build a power plant that also had a carbon capture facility attached to it. That's something that the government wants to see. Um, carbon capture is supposed to be a good way of reducing pollution as it um, is emitted by energy providers. And it, it seems that England in general is poorly supplied with wholesale energy anyway, so it's bad news for any plant to close, but probably in particular a new green plant. Well, it, it would be, except that this is only in a feasibility stage mm. at the moment. Uh, Drax itself has only spent about £3 million on it. The eventual cost might be £1 to £2 billion, and the only uh, partners who are still left in are Alstom and BOC. Mm. It is true also that there is quite a lot of uncertainty about energy supply and future in the UK, various prognostications about the lights going out in future years. So t tell, me, tell us a little bit more about... Drax and about why it's decided not to continue in this project. Drax is quite unusual. It has one big asset, which is this big old coal-fired station up in Yorkshire, which it has been in the process of converting into this pelleted wood form of power. It's dependent for that on subsidies for the government, like most re renewables businesses. And what it's suffered is a series of disappointments in terms mm. of the amount of support it's going to get. There's a sense of bad faith around this, and one suspects that Chief Executive Dorothy Thompson probably feels pretty disappointed, and the withdrawal from this project reflects that. So what does this tell us, if anything, about the state of green energy in the UK more broadly? I think it, what, what it tells you about green energy and also nuclear is that there has been very little consistency in government policy over decent periods of time. For that reason, long-term long investment has been reluctant to come in, and we see uh, suppliers of equipment and projects who primarily come from overseas, from countries such as China and France, where there is a good deal more certainty behind what you're doing. So if I was you, I'd keep a stock of candles in your cupboard here in London. And I'd stick to wood if I was you. Thanks, Jonathan. Good.